quarter of all Mercedes cars sold are actually compact cars and even though the outgoing vehicles certainly looked luxurious, they didn't exude Mercedes quality. Fortunately, the brand has gone back to the drawing board and designed a car that's far more deserving of the badge on the grill. The new A-Class not only rectifies many of the criticisms of the old compacts but also delivers a whole suite of innovative, exclusive technologies that will make the car stand out to every buyer. The hatchback looks good, with the Powertrain gets updated and refined under the hood as a new 2.0-liter turbocharged engine from Mercedes that makes 221 horsepower and 258 lbft of torque. It features two efficiency-focused features, called conic shape and camtronic. The former has to do with the cone or trumpet shape of the cylinder lining while the latter is Mercedes' new variable valve cam timing system. The direct injection turbocharged engine is a highlight of the A-Class and is full of character. It is mated to a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission that can send power solely to the front wheels, or to all four wheels if buyers opt for the 4MATIC models. In the older and A-Class, Rides more like a luxury car Another interesting change to the A-Class suspension is that the rear axle is mounted on a subframe but is isolated from the body shell by rubber bushings. This helps reduce noise and vibrations and makes a big difference on the road, especially in comparison to the outgoing Mercedes compacts. The small A-Class is nimble and agile, while also being smoother and softer on the road. This makes it feel and act consistently with what you would expect in a Mercedes. The steering lacks feedback, but it's well weighted and still enjoyable to handle. There are different drive modes that provide changes to the way the car feels, but the more interesting option is the individual setting which allows you to customize different characteristics of the vehicle. The new infotainment system takes over common it drives well, but that only appeals to a small niche of car buyers. What most buyers will really fall for what is happening inside the car, specifically with the infotainment and connected technology. The replacement for the old rotary dial operated Mercedes common system is here, and it's called MBUX. It's a beautiful looking infotainment system, that combines a 10 inch screen in front of the driver and a 10 inch touch screen in the center of the dashboard. There is a pretty responsive touchpad and then two additional touchpads on the steering wheel, but you don't really have to use those because the interface is pretty intuitive to use with touch. Non-stop tech for the techies reading this, the system is a hybrid. It has its own NVIDIA-powered processor and can attempt to decipher your commands on board, so you don't need an online connection to get good results, but it will also compress the recorded audio of your voice command and send it up to the cloud where it's processed by a more powerful and clever system. That is beamed back to the car, where a decision will be made, trying to figure out what you were trying to get the system to do. It works pretty quickly, and best of all it's adaptive. It learns from your frequent commands, and if you have a routine, like calling your mom at a certain time of the week, the car will...
compact car interior with Mercedes flair in comparison, the rest of the cabin is just okay. Design-wise it's pretty nice, with stylish circular vents and well-placed buttons and toggle switches. The materials in the vehicle still feel a bit below the standard of what you'd expect in a Mercedes, but they're not painfully cheap feeling. The A-Class has good headroom throughout the cabin, although that will likely change in the transition from a hatchback body style to a sedan. There's a big spacious trunk with a 